Uh, in tonight's talks, uh, I want to talk about the laptop genesis. So, uh, that's the one uh, moderator of the barrier genesis uh, to generalize the barrier asymmetry sort of the universe. Uh, the laptop genesis uh, it can be possible through with the manual master in the Lagrangians, and the uh, laptop asymmetry is uh, generated by the decays of the happy manual neutrino. And uh, such a uh, laptop asymmetry. Uh, lapton asymmetry can be transit to the baryon asymmetry via the parallel on uh, So uh, tonight, uh, I want to talk about uh, some several topics, not the over overviews of lapton analysis. So first of all, I will derive the CP asymmetry, epsilon, uh, which is uh, like the lapton asymmetry, some specific quantity. And the second, I will talk about some Boltzmann's equation. That Boltzmann equation is uh, uh, some evolution sort of the number density uh, in the early universe with the non equilibrium physics. And the number density of the happy neutrinos and the P minus L symmetry can be uh, calculated by the Boltzmann equation. And finally, I will talk about uh, some um, two possible solutions of the Boltzmann's equation. One is the weak versus out, and the second is a strong versus out. So uh, first of all, the first topic is a CP asymmetry. Uh, such a CP asymmetry is defined as a, a difference of the two decay mode of the uh, happy neutrino and one. So the case of the N1 has a two decay mode. One is the decays into the Higgs developed and Lapton developed. Another one is the anti Higgs and the anti Lapton. It is possible because the neutrino is the manner of particles, so anti particles are itself. So um, such a difference of the two decay modes, and the we will normalize by the summation of the two decay modes. This depends on the CP symmetry parameter. Epsilon alpha, uh, alpha is some lapton driver. So uh, such a uh, will focus on the uh, N1, decay to the N1, and it will decay to the some laptons L alpha. Uh, such a decay is possible uh, because uh, Lagrangian contains uh, Yuka coupling terms uh, like that. Uh, there are some right handed uh, having a uh, with index K and uh, Active the lapton developed L alpha. Also, pi is the Higgs developed. And this lambda alpha case is the Yuka matrix. In this case, we will use that the uh, uh, two right handed neutrino. So, two right handed neutrino, two RHN model. And there are three active neutrino. So, Yuka matrix, the three by two matrix in here. So, with this Lagrangian, we can calculate sort of CP symmetry. Uh, such a CPU symmetry is important quantities to calculate about uh, some lapton symmetries in this model. So, um, the such a decay of the N1 in the three level, it can do it like that by the Yuka matrix, Yuka coupling. So, N1 is the decay into the L alpha and the pi in the three level. And the uh, uh, decay width of the such a process, it just uh, proportional to the scales of the Yuka matrix and the uh, uh, proportional to the having uh, neutrino mass by the dimensional analysis. Uh, but uh, in the three level, the decay width for the uh, L alpha decays and the L bar, pi bar decays are the same. So gamma d is equal to the gamma d bar. So epsilon is the juice in the three level. So we should consider that the higher loop mode, higher loop level uh, to make a non-zero epsilon. Uh, such a one loop level of the N1 decay, that the um, N have been two nodes as a mediator. So there are the three Yuka matrix here, and then pi, and another pi here, and another pi here. And also in this diagram, also here and here is right here. So such a loop diagram that contributes to the decay of the other one. And uh, if we consider three levels and the one loop level, uh, we can decompose sort of the uh, matrix elements as the three levels part and the one loop part. 
And also, we will define we will decompose the uh, matrix elements as coupling part, which is coming from the core matrix, and the remaining part, which is amplitude part. That amplitude part is related with the minor neutrino mass. So, um, in the third level, the coupling part is also given by the lambda in core matrix, and the amplitude part can be written as a spinner, and uh, it it makes some. Uh, minor mass term by the spin summation. Also, we can uh, set this um, matrix element for the other decay modes, decay, decay to the antiparticles. So if we calculate the, some CP symmetry epsilon uh, in the both of a numerator, uh, numerator is a summation of the two different decay modes. And uh, we'll only consider the three levels in the numer uh, denominator. And, uh, so there is just a three level amplitude. And in the numerator, there are the three levels and the loop level. So here are the three levels and the loop level and the three levels for the uh, indicates the antiparticle and the loop level decades the antiparticle. And uh, by the some calculations, uh, my calculation some cross terms of the um, three levels and the loop level term, and the uh, minus of the sub decay to the antiparticle such a part, then the sum terms of that and the sum terms are remains, and the remained part yield that there's some imaginary parts of the Yuka matrix and the imaginary parts of the matrix element. And also, we can state that there are C0, C1, A0, L1, there are some cross terms of the um, three levels and the loop level. So in the numerator, I let this out. There are some imaginary parts of the um, in core matrix, cross terms of the three level and the one loop level, and the cross terms of the uh, loop level and the three level uh, and the imaginary part. So such a cross terms of the three level and loop level are important term, and especially the such uh, imaginary parts of the core matrix that related with the CP variety prices. So uh, that is the same formula um, in the denominator. And uh, there are some, some complicated term, cross term of the three level and the uh, loop level. And uh, we can uh, rely uh, we, we, we can rely to such uh, cross terms by using the optical theorem. So here's the optical theorem. Uh, imaginary parts of the some matrix elements is related to with this um, scale sort of the um, cut diagram. So uh, such a three level part can be written as he, and the loop part a ones can be written as he, so with the, some um, intermediate starts. So this is actually the loop diagram. So loop diagram can be cut with intermediate start as L prime, pi prime, R prime, pi prime, intermediate star. So and decay to the L and pi, and decay to the L and pi with the three level. And the L pi is cut is to the L pi with the, by uh, having a twin mediation with the three level. So we can limit since we can realize three of the cross term of the three level and the loop levels like that. So uh, the remaining terms is the coupling parts of the three level case. And we will assume that the mass hierarchy, uh, M1 is the, uh, smaller than the other Habian Neutrino. Then we, on, we can only consider that the, only the N1 decay. Then from the loop diagram, there are the three Yukawa couplings here and here and here. There are the pi in here. So three Yukawa matrix, lambda, lambda square. And the, there are the Habian Neutrinos appears as a propagator. So uh, by the effective field theory, the one of the arms appear. And the there with us um, three, which factors coming from the C2 cases. And uh, uh, by the using the scissor relation, um, the active neutrinos are given by the MD scales, Dirang Mastam over the Manra Mastam. And MD scale Dirang Mastam can be written as so, so, lambda scale with scale. You come back to extremes and the background expectation value. Uh, we can relate to such a lambda scales and arm as the active neutrino matrix, mass matrix arm over the packing expectation v scale. And uh, also, uh, 
uh, remind that calculus of the I was and age of such imaginary part, there are some intermediate uh, style uh, that pi that uh, scatters into the pi L, such amplitude also can be written as the spinner, and it will be also yield at the mass term by the spin summation. So uh, the that is some first our conclusion. So uh, we can obtain the epsilon by using this formula. This is already we saw still in the previous uh, slide. So uh, we'll insert the C0, the so Euclid matrix coupling as so, so lambda and C1, we already obtained. C1 can be written as a lambda, M nu, active neutrino mat mass matrix over the V scale. And then also C0, there's a lambda and the lambda scale, C0. Scale. And so we can know that the uh, all the lambda, scale of the lambda is offset, and there's the remaining terms that are m nu and v scale. And uh, we know that the decay light is proportional to the uh, capital M1. So we can write that there are M1 parts here. So uh, there are some cases of epsilon that determine like that as some of the op uh, upper bound, and uh, there are some imaginary parts of the lambda's uh, Euclid matrix. Imaginary parts of Euclid matrix are important things. So those are some formulas of the CPS symmetry. Light is through with this um, scale sort of the first of the CPS symmetry is uh, light is through with the heavy neutrino mass scale, and the imaginary part of the Euclid matrix. That is an uh, important point. So now we turn to the stuff. How can we use such a CPL symmetry? That is the Boltzmann equation. So that is our next topic, second topic, the Boltzmann equation. The Boltzmann equation is the product of non equilibrium physics. So, okay. So uh, such a Boltzmann equation can be written like that. And is the number density, t is the time, and there's the expansion effect because the universe expands, so number density is the decrease because scaling factors are increasing. And uh, by the decay light, uh, n, can, n will be the reduced strip, the n is uh, larger than the equilibrium density. But if the number density, n is smaller than the uh, equilibrium density, then n will be the increasing. Such a term is the Give, gives uh, some such shape out. And you will change some of the variables. So first of all, time, instead of time, we'll use uh, that, which is defined as the uh, um, uh, happy neutrino mass over the T, temperature. So the change of the variable is just over the DT, and we can calculate it like that, that equals time over T, and just a derivative. And in the binary styles, there are some relation between the temperature T and the time, small t. So such a uh, relation uh, coming from the, uh, because uh, there's a relation between the temperature and the scaling factor and the uh, time derivative of the temperature and the scaling factor, and it can be written as a parameter. So uh, such a changeable variable, uh, such a Jacobian DJ, DJ of the DT can be written as the HJ. Also, we will change the variable uh, number density to the convolving number density, capital N, as a uh, uh, small n over the entropy density, then the uh, number density is uh, unchanged by the expansion. So expansion terms that disappear if we can collide that. So the Boltzmann equation can be really things like that. Uh, convolving number density and the new variables of that. And the decay terms uh, can be really things as the lambda of the H chart. So also expansion terms that disappear by uh, introducing of the common number density. So there are two Boltzmann equations in the lactogenesis. The first one is for the number density of the happy neutrino. They are the same form already we saw. They are the decaying term. Decay terms are given by the uh, decay width over the uh, HJ. And the uh, um, second one is the N B minus L. Uh, B minus L symmetry. The first term is uh, epsilon one D. That epsilon one is already defined in the first topic, CP symmetry, because uh, epsilon is defined as the difference of the two uh, decay most of the ends, so it generates the B minus L. But uh, there is additional washout term, inverse decay uh, can 
uh, remove sort of the B minus or symmetry. So if the uh, P minus L was a positive, then the was down terms uh, removes so such a P minus L symmetry. Uh, the general solution form of the B minus L symmetry can be written like that. If there are the initial uh, B minus L symmetry, then it will be uh, reduced by the washing out term, but we'll ignore that because uh, we'll set the initial B minus L symmetry is a zero. And uh, we can write the um, B minus C symmetry solutions as a multiplication of the CP symmetry epsilon and the kappa. Kappa is called efficiency factor. It can be obtained by the uh, solving the Boltzmann equation numerically. That is uh, some uh, efficiency factor. Uh, efficiency factors, uh, it can be written like that uh, from the uh, second Boltzmann equation. And there are some uh, n and ones. So n1 number dance is uh, located there. So such uh, such an n one term requires that there's some um, numerical solution from the first differential equation. And also there's the uh, washout terms that uh, multiplied by the exponential sort of the minus. So, um, such a binary B minus set of symmetry should be consistent with observed the baryon symmetry. Observed the baryon symmetry is a, a, con a parameter as a sort of baryon to the potent number right here. Barrier numbers in the numerators and the num potent numbers in the denominator. And uh, such a B minor asymmetry can be transitioned to the barrier asymmetry via the polaron factors. Polaron factors are given by the such a formula numbers of the baromions, the three numbers of the Higgs is equal to the one, and also the distance factor because the uh, um, Raptor genesis occurs uh, some specific approach and uh, such a variant to the bottom number right here can be uh, obtained by uh, some recombination uh, stage. So bottom uh, numbers are diluted, so such a factor than necessary. So by using the step all the value, uh, then the uh, first of all, the, such a variance to the bottom number right here, observe the variance symmetry of the universe to the 10 to the minus 10. And uh, from the formulas and the, using the, all the values of the polar factors and the dilution factors, then the binary B minus L symmetry should be the 10 to the minus side because this factor is 10 to the minus 2. And uh, usually the efficiency factor is 10 to the minus 2. So uh, the required uh, uh, CPU symmetry is 10 to the minus 6. This is uh, uh, just uh, talking about some uh, scales of the, some such a value. And epsilons are uh, determined by the subject core matrix, y, some things, and the y's that actually the all, scale you of know, the y's that all disappear. And there will be the, some heavy neutrino mass and active neutrino mass and the vacuum expectation value. And we can set the uh, such active neutrino and the vacuum uh, expectation value as some fixed value. So epsilons are actually determined by the scale sort of the heavy matter neutrino mass. So there are some lower bounds of the epsilon for the uh, inaps of the baryon symmetry. So there are also lower bounds of the capital arm that is a 10 to the 9 giga electron volt. It is called uh, some the Wilson Ibarra's uh, bound. Uh, also, there are some of the thermal and the standard Raptor genesis case. If we use the, some other model like other than Raptor genesis model, such a bound can be lowered down. So uh, I will talk about the, some final two peaks, so weak and the strong was the L. So um, uh, positive two solutions so of the um, uh, Boltzmann equation. So I will talk about very briefly, I will define this um, two parameters, effective neutrino mass and theta like that, and equilibrium neutrino mass and star like that. Uh, the points of the, such uh, definitions, if we, uh, Define the parameter k as the light years of m t and m star, then it becomes the comparison between the decay width and the Hubble's parameter. So if the k is uh, larger than the one, then the uh, decay width is uh, larger than the Hubble parameter. So uh, such a productions are enough. So uh, productions of n ones are enough. So n one can reach the equilibrium. Uh, such a parameter k can be rewritten as like that. So if the heavy 
between the mass is a large, then the k becomes a small. So at one, the time between no cannot reach the equilibrium. So such a uh, situation is called the weak dwarf cloud. K is smaller than the one, so the k is smaller than the Hubble's. It becomes a large mass, so it's hard to uh, become the equilibrium instead of the n one. So in this case, the uh, number density n ones so are given like that. They reach the equilibrium, but they are very slight very short moment that the equilibrium that does the line and it will be decays promptly. It is called a weak acid algorithm sort of the lapse analysis. The upper side is a strong acid L. The K such a parameter is larger than the one. So the K width is larger than the table because of the small mass. So it can be and one can be reached equilibrium very earlier. So that, that's the line, the equilibrium, and uh, these lines is the number density, and it reaches the equilibrium, and it decays with the equilibrium, so the total analysis occurs.